Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Orphan Black Echoes. This is episode three, Pegasus Girl. Uh, I just want to highlight some of the characters that I want to talk about the most. Uh, Kristen Ritter, of course, she's Lucy, our main uh, clone, a printed person, whatever you want to call her. Uh, Kelly Hawes is Dr. Manning. And Amanda Fix, uh, doing a really good job as Jules, who is supposed to be a younger version of Lucy's. Uh, like, they're supposed to be the same person, right? That's the premise of the original series, although I believe in the original series, all the clones were about the same age. This one, there's an age disparity. But uh, before I get into it, like, I guess I'll start with one nice thing, and then I'll say one, something that I kind of want to uh, talk about as well. Uh, Amanda Fix is really, really good at being a younger version of Kristen Ritter. Not only does she look like she would grow up into Kristen Ritter, but just like the mannerisms, the way she acts, the way she talks, uh, I think it really works, right? Other than I did make a note that, you know, in the first part, as we enter the episode, we see Jules waking up in a hospital because we're getting a little bit of her backstory. Uh, and, and like, I was like, this scene was probably sponsored by badwigs.com because, oh my God, the wig she's got on. Oh yeah. Either that or the haircut they gave her on purpose was bad because I think if you are a printed person, of course, your hair would grow out like maybe weird and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to keep watching the show and then I'm going to decide like I almost did not make this video after the I talked about it in my last review that <sighs> there's a lot of this show that it sometimes like I'm not enjoying anything that it has nothing to do with Jewel and, and Lucy. I don't really care. For, it feels to me just like filler. Uh, some of it, it's not even, I don't want to call out anybody specifically, but it's not very well acted. It just doesn't feel, it feels like those scenes are not, because it's not the focus of the story. It feels like they're almost being careless with them. Uh, and I, I feel like that may be unfair, but that's just the way it kind of comes across the screen. And it, and it just gives me as the viewer, like, if you don't care about this part of your story, why would I care about it? So it's really hard to stay paying attention. Uh, sometimes I... I stopped writing notes halfway through the episode once again because I was like, I don't know. I don't know that I care. It did end in a really interesting way. And, and like I said, it hooked me enough to watch the next one. But I don't want to keep living this. I don't want to keep enjoying this show, like going in one by one to see if I'm going to keep watching. Right. Uh, I think by the third episode, I should be fully commit, committed. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about the series overall. But like I said, I really, I think Amanda Fix is great. I think Kristen Ritter doing a great job. Uh, the main story, like the story about Lucy and her being, a, you know, those printed people, I think that part is fun. Uh, even the stuff with all the corporate, like this this uh, philanthropist that is the that has the agents going after Lucy, that part is also interesting. Uh, the backstory that they gave us this episode, I really enjoyed as well. It's just everything that's going on with the uh, with Jack and Charlie. It just feels superfluous and it feels like it doesn't even matter for the story so uh it feels like it's there to give lucy something else to do while she's not doing stuff with uh with jules so uh but yeah like i said we get to see jules waking up in a hospital this feels to me like the first like the first time that they kind of printed her and she's now there uh the she has to work on her memory uh because obviously she doesn't have memories but they tell her she had been in a coma after a car accident her parents died uh they also bring in like this girl Peyton who is like supposedly her friend and she's like the worst fr if that was a friend that you hadn't before you went into a coma uh take this opportunity to like make new friends because oh my goodness she's the worst so I think the actress that plays her very very well done uh uh <clears throat> we also get like I said more of her backstory how she met her now foster family uh, and then we kind of catch up to the present uh, which interestingly enough when when Jules first is uh, brought into her foster family they make a point to say oh you know I picked out these three colors once you want once you feel like it you can pick one and we'll finish out painting your room but even a year later when we catch up she's been living with this family for over a year she still hasn't picked the color. They still haven't finished it. So that just gives you, it's it's like those little hints that it's like, oh, she's uh, she's definitely not comfortable in this place. She definitely doesn't see them as a family. She knows that there's something wrong. She's having the same nightmares as, as Lucy. Uh, so all this to say, 
in in a really weird way, Lucy or Jules finds out that maybe Lucy was right and she is a clone. Uh, and so they finally are working kind of together. Uh, like I said, I didn't go too much into detail uh, because I just didn't really. Like I said, it's just it's hard for me to experience a show like this. Uh, but I wanted to at least make one more video. So I'm going to watch the fourth one. If the fourth one is enjoyable enough, then I'll make a video for the review. Uh, if not, then maybe I'll just I'll just make one whenever the season's over, if I keep watching it. So, uh, But yeah, let me know. What do you think so far? Like, Am I, am I the only one that feels this way? Uh, I, I, I think enough people watch these videos to, to be able to kind of put together a little bit of a consensus and consensus on how we feel about the show. Uh, so... Uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.